right, Scorpio, I'm all fresh and dewy-eyed just for you. This is your weekly um, oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to the channel. For everybody who's just discovering my channel, I am Michelle. Please do click subscribe, help the channel grow, and ring that bell so you know when I go live, which is usually every day um, in the morning. Uh, and I and I answer I answer questions at the end every after I do a daily. So Scorpio, all right. I can say that right now, in terms of just channeled energy, before before we do our commercial break, things have lightened up a little bit this week. They have definitely, like just, I'm not saying everything is clear and there's not some stuff we need to discuss, but it has lightened a bit this week. There is an easing of sorts. We got it really rough last week as we turned that corner Jupiter, Jupiter re-entered Sagittarius, and that is very, very good for you. In other words, it's very good for you to help you release the old and have new perspectives and maybe see things that you didn't see before. And I think that, or see things in a way that you didn't see things before. Um, and if you were having trouble letting go of something that was causing you pain, but you didn't want to let it go yet, this would be the time that appeasement happened when Jupiter went over back into uh, Sagittarius that would lighten your, your heart and be able to make you see more clearly and help you release things that were not serving you. So the load has gotten a little bit lighter because benevolent Jupiter is helping you out a great deal and will be for the next month. And that's a really, really good thing for you, okay? Especially after last week's energy, it was heavy, hard, and hurtful. So let's get into this reading. Before I do, there will be one commercial break. If you guys are on platforms that allow for commercials, it's coming up in a few seconds. Let me say ahead of time, thank you so much, Scorpios. Your support of the channel is amazing. It is why the channel, I think, is still running and has been the success that it has. So I credit that all to you. Um, the commercial, basically sitting through the commercial is like a donation to the channel. That's what it is because it sponsors the channel. So I'm grateful and I'll see you in about 30 seconds. So if you just sat through an awkward pause, <laughs> you're lucky you didn't have to watch a commercial. Um, but Scorpio, let's see. There you go. Overcome any obstacle. This is the energy that's crowning your reading. And this is you this week getting through it, pushing through it overcoming it and doing it in a glorious way, almost in a way that you honor yourself. Do you see the festoon of flowers that's ringing Rhino's uh, neck? But then get a closer look and he's also wearing a crown. Now it's, it's a small crown. Do you know why it's a small crown? Because it's unassuming. Because no one needs to know it's there except for Rhino. And Rhino has this beautiful energy of just being this gentle, tender, wonderful, beautiful, benevolent creature. And this is the lighter side of you. The truth about Scorpios is you guys have the most beautiful hearts. And I hear all the time all of these things about Scorpios that are very dark and very frightening or very spiteful. And I'm like, well, you must have pissed one off because <laughs> they're actually extremely caring people. So this sort of showers you with this energy of love. And that's what I'm really liking the vibe here this week is this this energy of Taurus energy and Taurus is ruled by Venus. So there's this beautiful energy of allowing yourself to be loved, allowing yourself to be appreciated, but moving forward without needing anybody else's approval, without needing anybody else's um, validation, you, you don't need to wear your crown all kinds of out in front of everybody this week. This week, you know it. And it's that beautiful sense of stability inside yourself and that's what the stability really is. This is emotional stability. This is certainty, and this is the ability to show and express love. That's the energy that's crowning your reading, including the five, five zero, and five is change. This is a happy change. Zero is that number of infinity, of eternity, of walking through the portal. So this is a beautiful, benevolent change that's happening to you and really coming through. And I knew this was what it gonna happen in your season sometime in November. And here it is. Here is this energy that is really sort of helping you to clear the way for beautiful times ahead. It's almost like springtime in the middle of the fall. And that 
That means growth and that means expansion of your heart and your mind. And it means, it means, it means that I'm, I'm picking up love vibes. I don't want to, I don't want to say it too quickly because we have so much more of a reading to, to do Scorpio, but this is just a feeling. In other words, what I definitely know is it's an energy of you loving yourself and there being a sense of self-acceptance and calm within you. And that does tend to attract good people, not people who screw with your minds or screw with your hearts, not people who are about games. Um, cause sometimes you guys like that stuff, right? It's, it's very sexual. This is sensual energy, but not overly sexual energy. This is energy of love. I can't say it any other way. Stable love, committed love, which is what ultimately you really want. Unfortunately, a lot of times you end up getting scooped up in relationships um, with people who just want your sexy, sultry, shady side, you know? And then you get stuck there living in hell with them while they're just visiting and having a great time. And you want your heaven. You know, you want your Persephone. You want your springtime there with you. Turn knowledge into wisdom. This is an extremely loyal card. It is a wise card. I do feel like this is radiating you, but it's also radiating the kind of person you're attracting. If you can feel this energy, this is energy of wolf and not lone wolf. This is, this is energy of wolf as in, as in, as in sage wisdom and, um, Somebody's got their eye on you. They're older though. This is an older energy. This is a mature energy. This is a wise energy. Do you see the wings around his eyes? Because those eyes can take him very far. And there, there's heaven. There's heaven in those eyes. There's, there's an unearthly but beautiful, like, like they come just from the sky. And this is a, a lighter energy for you. Um, this could be a very loyal air sign, but this could also just be somebody who is very wise and very honest and open and, and helps to broaden your mind. In other words, if this is a person and not an opportunity or a project, this is somebody who your initial connection with them will be a conversation. Will literally just a conversation of two people with open minds talking to each other, you know, looking into each other's eyes, but there's no, there, there's an, in other words, you'll be impressed immediately with the calm that this person helps to create in you, but also this, this, um, almost certainty in them, this newness. In other words, you haven't seen this kind of freshness and sincerity for a very long time, Scorpio. Now, if this is a project or a new job opportunity, this is something that could take you very far. In fact, make you extremely happy, something that maybe you have wanted to be a part of for quite some time and never really thought you'd get close to it. Well, this would be that opportunity that's coming in this week. It, it would, it's something that is mind expanding and makes you see the world in a very different way. And in a way helps you see yourself in a very different way and your own potential in a very different way. This is changing directions so that you love your life better. Mm, oh my God, how I love that energy. Now, Wolf, of course, is also the singer to the moon. Um, wolves like to howl at the moon and in praise in communication with other wolves there's a in other words they're emotional creatures so you yourself could be this wolf you know just being at one with your emotions sharing your emotions out loud like a wolf howling let it out let it out and and sing its praises honor it respect it Respect the relationship you have to those things that are out of your grasp and out of your control. This is a wonderful time for you to not feel out of control when you're out of control. You know, it's just a, it's just a wonderful energy of self-acceptance. And self-acceptance, I think, is the ultimate control. Because once you know who you are and you've accepted everything about yourself and you've found a way to love yourself, there's no way that anybody can make you feel bad or manipulate you. Um, there's also, uh, it's also easier to choose directions and you have found a direction and it is forward because both of these, both of these totems are looking in one direction, Scorpio. And it's, it's almost, I'm telling you right now, it's like they're looking at spe something specific. 
It's like, yeah, let me see. Another card did flip out. Ah, uh, oh, you better stop. Let's take this back a step and let's just straight up say it. Love is all around. All around you, love is singing a song, but it's, it's more, it's celebratory and it's gentle. It's not a loud voice. It's a soft voice that can be heard now very easily because it's amplified by the faith that people put into it. It's a soft, quiet voice that, that, that you can hear again. It's like all of this confusion and all of this worry and um, maybe even, even heartbreak um, or disappointment was all around you and it was muffling these sounds, but now these sounds can come through very clearly. In other words, you're not afraid to say or be honest. There's something with communication here. You're not afraid to say or be honest with who you are and what your heart has inside of it this week. And I think that you will be receiving and they're all looking in the same direction. You will be receiving these sort of heartfelt messages coming to you. People really, um, in other words, what somebody says is music to your ears. It's something that you've always wanted to hear and look very, very closely, Scorpio, four and one. Four plus one is five. You've got another five. There's change, but there's additive change, right? There's change that isn't just abrupt or abrasive. This is change that you prepared for and maybe even in some ways set yourself up for, like participated in. Um, and of course, music is quintessential to your self-expression, but... Crow spirit is here. Came out with the nightingale spirit. There's a lot of air energy. Okay, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is you too. This is you. Crow, raven is you. Why? Because it is the bringer of light out of the dark. And that is what you are. And that's what we've discussed this before. And this is one and seven, which adds up to eight. And eight is that number of infinity, of immortality, of destiny. Now, crow is a totem directly related to shaman and witches. They are often um, messengers or uh, familiars to them. Why? Because crow is spirit. It's spirit manifested. It's, it's the messenger bird of spirit. Um, it, it, tells, it tells secrets. So this could be you finally sharing a secret or you finally getting up the nerve to tell somebody that you love them or somebody finally getting up the nerve to tell you that you love them or uh, tell you that they love you or that um, or just at least of, at the very least show love or express that love or you be maybe actually able to talk to this person I love you I do my little kisses I'll show I like to show her to you she's so cute um, um, you may be like just uh, just um, share love, show love, express love that has been hidden or that maybe you haven't been intentionally trying to hide it because this is, could go either way, right? This could be your energy, try being able to tell them finally, you know, being in a place where you're secure enough in yourself and you feel good enough about yourself to actually come forward and say, I feel this way about you. I've been feeling this way about you for a long time. That is not a very Scorpio thing to do. Scorpios usually wait for the other person to tell them or let them know for sure that they're that they're that they're in a secure place to let themselves be a little bit vulnerable. But there is a certainty in you this week. There is an assuredness and there is a receptivity of those things that are unspoken that you can be certain of this week that may give you that push you need for you to take that path forward. All of these cards are looking in the same direction and it is forward, 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 always forward. That is not a coincidence, Scorpio. It, it, it's making me feel like this is a very progressive week, a week where you have the energy to, 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 to create the momentum yourself and the, the faith filled with the faith and the knowledge. In other words, I feel like, in other words, you've received some sort of intuitive message or actual message. You are, you are certain of the way this person feels about you, or you are certain about this opportunity being for you. You are certain enough of this opportunity or of this, of this opportunity, whatever kind of opportunity it is, 
you are certain enough to lay yourself bare and actually be the voice and speak what nobody else is saying, which is that expression of love, that expression of opportunity, that expression of, hey, we should do this. This is a good idea. You're voicing what right now is being kept hidden or has been kept hidden for a while. Um, but this is also co-create with spirit. That tells me once again, and remember I said it could have a little bit to do with you four plus one. This is additive. In other words, you created the momentum for the change. This is the confirmation that you created the momentum for the change. You've, cr excuse me, I'm so excited. You have co-created this with spirit, Scorpio. So this is telling me that your manifestation is making a breakthrough this week. You will find a, you will find that there will be a powerful, and I feel like it will be emotional and mental, psychological, psychic breakthrough this week that you will not question. You will know for sure. You won't need anybody else's validation or guidance or advice. You will be a hundred percent certain and you will be able to make the move. You have been working on this with spirit and you have finally broken through. So, okay, um, okay, more cards are coming out. <laughs> so far, so 623, happy birthday, Doug Denny. And I will, of course, turn the camera angle around so that you can see what I'm seeing. All of these cards, I feel like, let's put it this way, your head is definitely cleared this week. You have this clarity of mind and, and spirit but especially in your, in your brain, there's a clarity of your psyche that is absolutely positive and, and certain. You have found this beautiful confidence and oneness with yourself that is enabling this forward progress, this ability to finally break through, break through. It, it, this, that, that's what I'm naming the video. And then the one card that's looking forward, spirit has a plan. So, I mean, straight out, straight out. Look at, look at this, look at him. And what is he? 35, which adds up to eight again. Listen, there's change that is destined. This is destiny, but this is, this is a breakthrough with a change that has been destined. Now, Koala sits in the top of the trees and he looks on from afar, but he's also extremely wise. He's my baby Buddha card, okay? In other words, he has a peace about him. He has a balance. There's a stability here that is a certainty. And this is another card. You have co-create with spirit and crow spirit, and then you have spirit has a plan. This is all divine. This is this has been something that's been divinely guided. And and you're, it's like, it's almost like you finally clicked in. It's almost like that moment when you finally, oh, have you ever seen these books? Um, they're like the, the 5D images where you're, you're looking at it, you're looking at it, you're looking at it, you can't see anything and you have to like stare at it like this. You have to look at it a certain way and you have, it takes practice, but finally, bam, something clicks. And then all of a sudden you can see these images that were nothing before. This is that week. It's like that breakthrough where you finally see something there, something that, that was there before, but it wasn't visible. It wasn't, it wasn't noticeable to your regular eyes. It's almost like something in your brain had to click and you make that psychic breakthrough this week. And it's all, it's, I'm telling you right now, Scorpio, this was planned. This was spirit had a plan and he's been, he, spirit has been contriving this for quite some time. And if I have no doubt that you felt it, but I also feel that you have doubted it because you know, as much as you are like a very psychic sign, you are also very physical. You like to participate in physical activities, sensual things, but viscerally sensual, like 3D, skin on skin, like in the flesh that matters to you. And it's been, you, you've gone so long with just these aspects, right? Just the psychic acts, aspects. Those, those aspects that you need faith to touch or you can connect with only empathetically or emotionally or on a, on a vibration. But there's a breakthrough this week that enables you to see. Do you see? It's almost like gives you the brain power and it's almost like that third eye 
of, of koala to be able to see what spirit is seeing and see almost into or through spirit's eyes. This is you. If you ever seen um, a Game of Thrones, it's almost like how Bran can, can the three-eyed raven, he can get into the raven and see through the raven's eyes. This is you being able to see through spirit's eyes and basically receiving a message that you're of absolute certainty. That, that what you have been manifesting is 100% coming to you. And it could very well be little bits and pieces coming to you, the first one, the first of those pieces coming to you this week. But what, what these cards sitting next to each other, turn knowledge into wisdom, love is all around. It's like, bam, you're finally seeing it. You're finally seeing that love. You're finally, it's like Jupiter is finally awakening you to finally be able to see that person that person for what they really are. Maybe even actually meet them this week, but you'll be able to see them, recognize them. Something, in other words, this is the this is the week your worlds collide. This is the week where your world collides with your destiny. That's what this week is. I know it's a pretty darn bold statement, but Koala's looking me right in the eye and everybody else is looking directly at Koala. Koala has a message. He has a certainty. He had a plan. He had a plan all along and he has arrived this week. A hundred percent. Oh my God. This is breakthrough. This is, this is, this is every kind of another five. This is your week to shine. This is your wishes coming true. This is a star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. This could also have to do with Aquarian energy because Aquarian energy, it, it, it thinks with a higher mind. It thinks about humanitarian purposes and this is humanitarian. Buddha was a great humanitarian. So he cares about caring about other people and it could very well be that you're engaged this week in very philanthropic and exercises or activities because you just want to care, but you don't want to just care about yourself or what's near you. You want to care about something that will influence and help the world. It's, it's very benevolent energy and you're using it to the best. And I feel like the secret to your success and breakthrough this week is engaging in these kind of philanthropic activities because you will glow and you will shine. It's almost like people didn't expect you to be interested in doing things like this, but you are interested in things like this and the world will take notice of that and everybody around you will take notice of just how much you do. You do think outside of who you are and you do care and you and you you want to engage in these higher these higher purposes these these larger enterprises these long-term commitments for the greater good and you're really going to shine in activities like that this week but it's also connected to meeting your person there's something about a star something about the spotlight on you that's going to in inevitably then guide you or lead you to this situation or circumstance that you were literally designed for. I, I, I I'm going to, don't worry, I'm going to pick more cards. Um, but I'm also doing that full tarot spread over on Vimeo. That link is below guys. If you're, if you're interested, there's an extended video. Um, there's an extended link below and I'm going to dive into this reading with tarot. I, I want to understand exactly Oh my God, your wishes are like, this is wishes coming true, wishes coming true. But I think it's also, it's not just wishes coming true. It's answers. It's clarity. It's, it's, oh my God, I, I never would have thought to look here and bam, there's my opportunity. I, I, I'm being redirected to be on the right path with, with, with intention. Like, like it's not something that you, you're going to have to think about. Two cards came out. Let's see what they are. This and that are true and reclaim your power. So this is definitely a, a message of you have been caught in limbo with somebody specific. You have been caught in limbo. Once again, Panther is that energy of light coming out of the dark, understanding all of a sudden being aware, but also you becoming fully confident in everything that you are. 
your confidence coming out of the dark, your ability to sustain yourself in the in-between without completely destroying yourself with frustration and hurt and worry and fear that it will, you'll never move forward. This is you basically, in other words, almost like you've spotted that opportunity or that person for the first time in this, in the, I can't explain it. It's my job to explain it. It's going to happen when you least suspect it to happen. This in between, and I see a D. Do you see a D? I don't know why there's a D staring at me, but there's a D. Something has to do with a D. I don't know if it's an initial or an address or uh, if that has a meaning in another alphabet. I don't know, but the bottom line is there's that you there's this there's this youthful playful energy that's that's going to it's going to have something to do with you connecting to your life purpose you're sort of in in an in-between stage and it's going to pop up when you least expect it and and you're i'm telling you scorpio when i say you will never see this coming but you have always known it's going to happen let me flip the camera angle around so I can review the cards with you. Hold on. So this is the spread that I'm looking at. All the cards are turned upright. And most of them, what, what is this? All of them are facing one direction forward, paying attention to these very spiritual cards of purpose. You are walking right into your spiritual purpose and your alignment with your path this week. This is 100% having to do with something about you being the star, you shining. It could be your opportunity. It could be something that you're working on. It could be a project that you're leading. But in, in the course of focusing on this other thing, you are going to run smack dab into your fate and destiny. There is a major breakthrough happening this week and it starts by you getting yourself better adjusted. It's like, like, a, like coming back into yourself putting your crown back on for nobody but you, making that breakthrough of following, making that spiritual breakthrough, making that psychic breakthrough of, I know this is true and I don't have to ask anybody else's advice or wisdom. This is a certainty that lives in me. It's almost like you are becoming the guru. You are the person that is driving this momentum. I'm telling you, Scorpio, this is, uh, you will not see this coming. You will be, you will be focused on something else, material and 3D, and you will run smack dab into something that is fated and destined for you. This week is that week where you come back into all that you are completely, that dark, beautiful mystery that is you, that you don't question. It's not a mystery for you. It's stability for you. It's coming back into yourself. Four plus four is eight. Once again, you have infinity. What is this? This is eight two. Eight and eight. Shit. This is 100% your destiny. You are going to walk right into your destiny this week and you're, you're not even going to realize that's where you're walking. You're just going to work. Yeah. You're, you were just going to work. You were just going to dinner with a friend. You were just going to a charity event or going to do some charity work, some volunteer work. There is no way, shape, or form that this will totally and complete. You won't even know that it's happening. I'm telling you right now, you won't even know that it's happening. But this is an energy that has been with you for quite some time. It has been growing. It has been waiting. It has been watching. It has been prepared. It has been prepared for you. And now it's literally, you're going to walk right into it. Look at these two cards. This is you. This is that dark into light. This is seeing and speaking, seeing and speak. Just, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Listen, I'm going to stop with the Oracle cards right here. I'm going to, I'm going to delve into this in tarot over on Vimeo. Um, I really need to know ex like exactly what is going to happen, maybe around the energies where there will be this exposure to your fate, um, like the events leading up to it. Or, but but you know what? In some ways, I and I don't want to sell myself short, but I feel like Scorpio, this is your, it's supposed to be a mystery. But let's see exactly what's coming out of it. All right, I will see you over on Vimeo.